Hi, I'm Ali and welcome to my channel. Today I have a weekly Woolworths shopping haul to share with you. Uh, my family consists of three, my husband, myself, our 13 year old son, and we do have two German Shepherd dogs as well. Uh, this shop is a slightly different. It is Easter Saturday today. So happy Easter to everybody that's out there. I hope that you are having a uh, great weekend with your family. You've had lots of hot cross buns and you're in for copious amounts of chocolate. Um, this is a quite a different little shop for us. It is a in-between shop because on Monday, Easter Monday, Kale is jetting off, well, jumping on a bus to do the eight hour bus trip to Perth to attend a 10 day camp with, it's called One Camp, which is with the Scout Group. One Camp consists of the Joeys, the Cubs, the Scouts, the Venturers, the Rovers, and all the helpers for all those around the state. And I believe there's some coming from interstate as well. There's going to be a total of 1,440 kids and 470 adult helpers. They are all going to be at one camp, um, hence the name One Camp, but they're all going to be at the same camp. They are going off to do mini expeditions within their little groups. So he's got a few things he's going to be doing. He's going to be doing, a, it's called Bounce Bounce Beach. So he's off to an indoor trampoline centre they're going to, I think it's Mullaloo Beach in Perth to do activities on the beach. They're also doing a day, it's an overnight expedition to SciTech and the Jin Jin Discovery Centre. I've never been there, but for those of you that are in WA, you may have. It's where there's telescopes and they look at the stars and all kinds of cool stuff. So, and then there are a few day trips as well. And there's going to be one particular day over the 10 days where... Everyone that's going to the camp is going to be there and they're having an open day with parents and family and stuff as well. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get there. I've got work up until that day, which is in about 10 days time. And then I'm actually uh, going away myself for a few days. So I'll be going away while Kale is actually away. So this is a shop to get him through camp, but also um, hubby and I will just fend for ourselves over the next week until I get to shop again. Uh, we'll probably go out for a meal, uh, make the most of our time alone. And also um, I'll just do some quick and easy, easy meals for just us. So our meals will go a lot further because I'm feeding two adults instead of three. Kale's only 13, but he eats more than I do already. So um, that's what where we're at now. So I'll just quickly run through what we've got. And also, it is the beginning of school holidays. So school holidays started uh, at the end of school on Thursday, and they don't go back until the Wednesday after Anzac Day. So it's a little bit longer. Um, so our shops will be a little bit probably more random for the next couple of weeks. So I'll run through what I've got. I've got a bag of grapes because he's going to be on the bus on Monday and I thought this was a really good one they're great big grapes they're seedless grapes he, him and I've already pinched some out of the bag but um, I thought that'll be a good snack to have in the bus if he needs to have anything he does suffer travel sickness so we try and sort of send a few snacks and things as well they were eight dollars a kilo so they were on special so it was seven dollars fifty two um, but that will definitely get him through and then what he doesn't take I will probably take to work as well now, dog food, because I did try and get there early, um, we got there about, oh, I'd like to say it was half past eight, quarter to nine this morning, and it's literally quarter past 11 when I'm filming this, because it was just crazy, and we had a few other stops that we needed to do as well, just to get supplies for him, but our dog food, the Baxter's dog food, um, the chicken and rice, I got three rolls, so that's nine meals for our dogs. Um, and I do have some left over, but I wanted to get that because, uh, like I said, after Kale goes away, I'm actually away too. So I need to make sure that there's going to be stocks of everything. So I got a bit of extra this week. Uh, they were $6.50 each. So the three rolls cost me $19.50, which was a much better deal this week. Uh, just the one litre of Harvey Fresh Harlow milk this week because it'll be just coffees for hubby and I. Maybe one, at the most, two mornings of cereal for kale 
although probably not because we've got hot cross buns so he might not even have cereal for breakfast so that'll just be coffees that was 2.95 for the liter i got um 500 grams of beef mince what i'm going to do with this one uh that was seven dollars what i'm going to do is i've got a recipe with some seasonings i've got in my cupboard that is a like a thai satay meatballs it's a thai spice and you actually make the satay sauce with coconut milk and peanut paste and some seasonings so I'm thinking that I'll do that while kale is away because it's a bit spicy and it was a little bit too spicy for kale but hubby and I like it so thinking that that might be and that so that beef mince will do us for two meals um, because we'll definitely get lots of meatballs out of that one and we just have it with rice so we got that I just got the one thing of yogurt because like I said kale, today is pretty much lunchtime Saturday he's got to be at the scout hall at 6 30 on monday morning catch the bus so really and i've got markets tomorrow so um he'll be at the markets most of the day with me tomorrow so just one kilo he can have some of that and then hubby will polish it off that's just the brown strawberry it is their favorite it was on special so it was four dollars eighty i think they're normally about six dollars but even at six dollars it's a pretty good price but at four dollars eighty that was great the willow farm hummus dip this is a 200 grams it's vegan gluten-free this is obviously a Woolworths brand because this was my extra rewards freebie for the month they always give us one product if you're a part of extra rewards uh, that you get to scan anytime during the month and it's just free so that was two dollars fifty but we got it as an everyday extra perk they call it so that will go well with some cheese and bickies and things uh dasonia the tasty mild sticks the 400 gram packet this is just the standard one that i get every week eleven dollars thirty uh kale's not around to have them in his lunch so i might even take some to work and hubby usually snacks on them at lunchtime and after work as well so we got those i uh, needed some more bacon so this is the one kilo there wasn't a lot on offer because a lot of the um like the full strips of bacon were really fatty or they had the rind on them so i just got the shortcut uh it's still got a little bit of fat on it but it's not as much as the bigger ones that was ten dollars 25 for the kilo which is still a pretty good price but for shortcut it just means you know we've got it to use for a few different things and i'm thinking also while kale is away if hubby and i have a night where we're both really home late i might just do like a spaghetti carbonara uh, for tea one night so we've got that um, i've got two little containers of the brown sour cream this is a light one the 200 mils i use these to do samples for the market so i've got markets tomorrow and it'll be quite busy um, i do for those that haven't seen my previous videos i'm a consultant for flavorista which is a range of uh, certified gluten-free and nut-free spice blends, chocolate powders, uh, dessert syrup sauces. They do oils, balsamics, all kinds of stuff. And with the spice blends, I actually make up dip mixes to sample them. So I use sour cream. I use half of one of these, which is half the quantity. Half a container of sour cream, one tablespoon of whole egg mayo, and half a tablespoon of spice mix. And it actually makes a really yummy dip. There's... Um, are probably more than a dozen different varieties that I do at the market to um, sort of a couple of them at any one time so I usually just choose a couple and do a couple up and then I've got markets next Saturday which will be before I get the chance to shop again so I bought two sour cream to get me through the markets this week and next week they're $2.80 each so that was $5.60 I've got some thickened cream so this will do a keto coffee for me during the week will be uh, cream for carbonara if I do that during the week uh, I've got some apples there that have been in the fridge I need to cook with I'm thinking of doing an apple crumble so if I do the healthy apple crumble which has got nuts and oats and things on top of it instead of flour um, then we'll have cream to go with that so that was $2.80 but it's got a really long expiry it's the 30th of April so if I don't use it this week it'll be right to sit in the fridge uh, the Shave Parmesan from Woolies they haven't had this in stock for a very long time so I just grabbed it because then again if I do that um, carbonara then we'll have it with that one but also um, 
tail goes on a Monday, I leave the following Tuesday. So hubby and I are home for a week and then Kale gets home on the Thursday. So hubby will be on his own for a couple of nights and then uh, once Kale gets home Thursday night, I'm not back until Monday. So I'm probably do a bit of cooking before I go, a pasta dish maybe and a curry. So then the boys will have the Parmesan to have that as well. So I'm sort of thinking two weeks ahead here. Uh, but that was six dollars for the 250 grams i grabbed a butter just in case i do some extra baking while kale's away and uh unsold a butter 500 grams at six dollars 40. i did spend um six dollars in a easter raffle that they had today um raising funds for telethon and that drawing it this afternoon so there was meat vouchers and seafood vouchers and all that kind of stuff so that's six dollars on my docker as well um, I've got some more distilled water while they had it in stock. That's for hubby CPAP machine. I always try and keep one spare because our water down here is appalling. Um, we've got um, artesian water and it's like the calcium and stuff in it is ridiculous. So uh, we've got water filters on the house. I've got filters on the fridge, but it still is revolting. So we use the distilled water for the CPAP machine. Kale needs a notebook to take to camp with him. And when we were in Woolies, he spotted this little hardcover book. It's got little gold, pretty little gold patterns on the outside. But with the spiral, he can stick a pen in here and it opens up really flat. So if he's writing, he can have it really, really flat and write on both sides. Um, so that will, and being hardcover, it'll built around in his bag and, and not sort of rip and tear and things like that. It was $6.50, so it wasn't the cheapest one, but I reckon even when he gets home from camp, he'll be able to use it for something else as well. So we got that. And also we just tried to get everything in as few shops as possible today. He packed his bag yesterday and the idea was the things that we needed, we would buy today. His clothes and everything's all fine, but this is all the, just the extra bits and pieces. Sukin for men 3-in-1 body wash, the energising one. This is 500 mils um, and I think, I'd love to say this was half price because it's only $6. My hubby uses this one. Uh, he used to use the palm olive and it, um, it's not like a psoriasis but it's almost an irritation on his like forearms and stuff and it only happens from using all the palm olive soaps. So we've gone to these kind of natural ones. The Dove one is okay for him and this Sukum one also works as well. So whichever one's on special, I usually try and stock up because um, otherwise, yeah, like I said, that one's normally $12 and it was six. So I try and stock up on them where I can. And I just got another Febreze. This is just good to spray around like on the dog's beds or even just to freshen up mattresses and things like that. Uh, it's the fabric uh extra strength it's just ambi pure it doesn't have a fragrance on it i think it only comes in the one fragrance actually uh, but that was on special as well so that was five dollars i think it was on special oh i can't remember now but i did need it um and i saw it there and it's not often on the shelf so we got that one and for going away because he's got to take everything in a backpack um we tried to get a like all these toiletries and things in smaller sizes so we got the pantene this is just a pantene pro v daily moisture renewal shampoo probably it isn't really needed for him he had a haircut a couple of days ago so his hair's quite short but it was just getting shampoo in a smaller bottle so 90 mils that was three dollars but um it's got a really good like seal on it so i reckon that'll work out really well and that will definitely get him through the week I've got a, um, these are glad to be green. They're 95% recycled kitchen tidy bags. They are the small size, so they're 17 litre. They're sort of um, 48 by 44 centimetres. But I needed some of these for Kale to take with him just to put things like, you know, so he's got a rubbish bag in the tent if they've got rubbish and stuff because they always share the tents with other kids. So there's backpacks and sleeping bags and crap everywhere so uh, it's always good to have extra bags and things like if his bathers are wet he can separate them from his clothes um, he takes reef shoes which are they're almost like wetsuit material shoes with grips on the bottom um, scouts require that kids wear them for all water activities so they're not um, running around in bare feet 
So if they're wet, he's got a bag to put them in. Um, dirty clothes, they are going to be doing some of their own washing. So they're going to be washing clothes in a bucket. Um, so I've got other things for him as well that he needs. But I thought this was, and there's like 34 in here. He doesn't need that many. But I just thought, well, we can fill up a little pocket with a heap of bags. So he's got them in case he needs them. Uh, and the rest of them I'll just use like in the bin in our bathroom or something like that. Um, they were required to take some chucks, a 10 pack. So that's just a 10 pack of chucks because they wash all their own dishes and stuff as well. They were $4.90. They went on special, but it was a requirement. And the other ones are on a big roll. So these are going to be easier to pack in his bag. Um, he's only got one backpack that's got to fit everything in it. And when it comes to all the camps, especially the scouts, they're going to get a delivery from the food tent or the food building or whatever they call it once a day that's going to have their breakfast, their lunch uh, and their dinner ingredients and then they, are, they prepare all their own meals. They cook on a barbecue or on an open fire or the little, um, what do you call them, like the little gas rings and things like that. So they are kind of quite self-sufficient. So it's really good that they get to go and do this. Uh, they're sharing the unit is with a few other scout groups. So I'm not sure how many kids will be cooking and stuff at the same time. But, um, yeah, they're going to have fun. It's going to be great. So that was to do his dishes. And then I'm sending him with some Panadol just in case he needs it. These are just the 20 tablets. They're the Optizorb. They were the ones on special. They were $4 for 20. He probably won't need that many, but I'm just going to send them in a little clippy bag. We went to the chemist on the way out of Woolies and got a packet of Quells. They're the travel sickness tablets because he does get a bit travel sick. So he can then take the Quells before he gets on the bus. He's got some if he needs to redo them on the way through to Perth um, and then on the way home. And then there's obviously the expedition from swan valley up to jinjin as well so he's got a packet of quills so we've got all them they'll all be packed in his bag ready to go uh he needed to take air guard but it, they're not allowed to have aerosols so i picked up this little roll-on one it's just the air guard body tropical strength eight hours protection but this was the only roll-on that woolies had so he's got this one he's already got roll-on deodorant um, it's something about the aerosols aren't that great if they get sprayed directly on the tents and also for irritability, like if you've got, I don't know how many kids share a tent. Kayla, how many kids share a tent? Four. Four. So there's about four kids in a tent. So you can imagine if they're all spraying deodorants and perfumes and stuff around, it all gets quite stinky. Um, so yeah, all roll on, but this was $9 for the 50 mils, which I thought was ridiculous, but, um, I've not bought them before, so we just had to have it. They were also asked to take a hand sanitizer with one of these little carabine clips on it. So what happens is you can just clip it to the outside of their little day bag. So they have a great big backpack that keeps everything in them, but they have a little, what they call a day bag that has their towel and lunch and water bottle and notebook and all that kind of stuff in it if they go off and do things for the day. And they wanted it so it clicked on the outside. This was the only one we could find. <laughs> so he either had a choice of Spider-Man or Frozen. So he's got Spider-Man. Um, they were told to take hand sanitizer just in case something happens with COVID while they're all away. Uh, this is $4. I've got another little hand sanitizer that I'm going to throw in his bag as well, but it didn't have the little clip on it. So at least this can have this clicked on the outside of his bag. Um, did I tell you that was $4? I think I did. Um, and also, teenagers and their skin, I was terrible. My husband was terrible. Um, I actually used to use this when I was younger. It was actually used to be called Saperderm Medicated Soap. And I see now they just call it a hygienic soap. I'm wondering if that was just a descriptive thing. But cleanse and helps protect skin, helps remove odour-causing germs. I found when I was sort of going through that horrible stage with my like my back and my arms and things like that this soap really did help clear my skin we've tried a few different things for kale some of them are working into intermittently but I thought I might try this one because I've got a couple of soap bags they're like little 
hessian-y kind of bags. They're called a soap saver that you put your soap in and it actually acts as a bit of a loofer with your soap. Thought that might help him and also wondered if it might be a good thing to take away with him because he can just keep it in a clippy bag um, and use that when he's having a shower. So I'm not sure. We'll pop one in and we'll try him for a couple of days before he goes and we might sort of pack him up with one of those to go away as well. They were $5. They weren't on special, but I reckon when I used to buy them far out 20-odd years ago, they were probably around about the same price. So, um, yeah, so I just saw them and grabbed them just to try and sort of help him, you know, sort things out while he's away as well. And then he's not having to take heaps of lotions and potions with him. He's asked for some of these Clippy storage bags. These are 27 by 33 centimetres with the little joeys. They're only like six. Um, they're only going for two nights. They're not going for the whole um, 10 days. But um, to help pack like joeys pack their bags when they're going away and being away from home you put a set of change of clothes including like socks jocks shirt shorts whatever in one of these bags and they have like a bag for each day kale's wanting to sort out some of his clothes in a similar way to that so i grab these for him we'll see how they fit in his backpack but whatever he doesn't use i know that i'll be able to use them to put things in the freezer and stuff as well so they were two dollars ten um, then he needed a, a little lunch box to go in his day pack. He's got the great big lunch um, containers that he takes to school, but he needed something that he could just put like a sandwich or a wrap or something like that in that's going to sit flat in his bag. So, And when we were in Woolies, these were actually, I think they were half price. So that was $3.25 and it's... Mm, I can't see what that one is. Oh, 900 mils it is. So it's 900 mils. So it's not a massive one, but because it sits fairly flat, I reckon that'll fit a sandwich or a wrap in it quite easily. And it was easy for him to take the lid on and off. So yeah, so he's got that. And then I'll just be able to use that when he gets home. Right, oh, so then um, packets of tissues. I bought them like this for him to take because he can have some of his toiletries bag, some of his big backpack, um, like his hiking pack and some of his little day pack as well. So instead of just buying one container and then they can squish into various pockets. So we got those. They were $3.50. Uh, then he's got the shower gel. He did ask me about taking this as well. Um, so if it fits in his bag, he can have that too. Palm olive, milk and honey. Uh, body wash 100 mils so we just went to the section in Woolies where they have all the travel stuff and just sort of picked a few things so that was two dollars twenty then his pegs now he needs to take pegs because he's going to be washing in a bucket um, I don't have a lot of pegs at home so I thought that I would get him some new ones these were they've got the big tab on them and inside in there I can put his initials because it says we have to label everything um but I thought, far out, it's just hard. I wanted to send him with some of the, um, like the eco-friendly, the little wire pegs, because they'll last forever. But um, they're too hard to name. So he picked these because he can take the blue ones, and I think they said you've got to take six or eight pegs. So he can take that, and then um, the ones that are left over, we can just keep at home um, to use, or if he needs to use them again. There's a 30-pack, and they were $6.00. Uh, they've always also told us we needed to take face masks, the KN95 ones, in case anything happens while he's away. These are the ones I'd bought previously. They had them out on clearance when COVID was just sort of getting to the end of its second or third wave here in WA. Um, so I remembered they had them in Woolies and it says for them to take three masks and these come in a little clippy bag, like it's got a self-seal thing across the top here. So... I thought this would be good because we can just slide it down in the side and he was actually wearing them, these masks when I was buying them before. So they're not unusual for him and they'll be easy to pack and for him to take. But when I bought them before, I swear they were only 3 or $4. They are now $9. But here's what it is. We needed things. So as you can see, there's not much on the table, but I still, still spend a lot of money this week. Um... I've got the Sweats Orange and Mango Natural Mineral Water for myself. I've got some vodka and Bacardi in the cupboard. And I'm sure Hubby and I will probably have a, a night of nibbles and drinks and stuff like that, watching a movie while Kale's away. So I got that. And I also got him two bottles 
of the dry ginger ale. He drinks CC and Captain Morgan and I don't mind a scotch with a little bit of dry ginger. So we got um, two of those. They were all $1.50 a bottle today on special. Now, the sriracha and chicken flavoured snacks. This has got um, like cashews and peanuts and crispy noodles and stuff in it. It was a 150 gram bag. It was on clearance for $1.20. So I'm going to stick that in my lunch bag for work because I think that'll be a good little snack to have on my desk. And then uh, macaroni cheese. Both Hubby and Kale got into these last time I bought them. So these were on special again. The macaroni cheese, 280 grams. It's a four pack for $4.70. So they just zap them in the microwave. There's four little packets in there. Hubby eats two at a time. Kale eats one at a time. But I thought, well, with me going away shortly, if I've got them in the cupboard, then it's just an extra thing that they've got to, to snack on. And the lemon juice as well. Normally I squeeze my lemons fresh. We have lemon juice on our curry. And when I'm not home, the boys will just use this one and just give it a bit of a squirt on top. So 500 mils of lemon juice, $1.65. So that's just in the cupboard. While I could see it, we've got that. Um, the Eclipse mints, the spearmint ones. These are sugar-free. They're 40 grams. They're in a cute little tin. Kale likes these, so these are for him to take on the bus with him. They were $3.50. And the Biscoff Biscuits, these are Lotus. Now, they've got the little um, twin packs in there. So there's actually, I think, six little twin packs in there. Um, and I thought these would be either good to have with a cuppa or, oh, sorry, there's eight two packs in there if I read the front of it. Um, or I could take them to work and have just a, a little snack. They were half price at $1.30, so I thought that was actually a pretty good price. Then Kale's little chocolates, obviously. There's not much chocolate and things for him this week because he's going away Monday. There was no caramel milk on the shelf, which he was devastated, but there was none there, so he couldn't have any today. He did come with me. So instead, he's got the Smarties, the Nestle Smarties, 50 grams for a dollar. And the Nestle Milky Bar, classic, that was a dollar as well. So that's his chocolate to get him through until he goes away. And I know that'll be more than enough. And then I can restock his chalky stash while he's away before I go away. Um, now these, I've got these for myself to try. It's the Blackmore's Women's Energy Effervescence. Uh, it says supports energy production and healthy immune system function, supports uh, maternal health and 98.5% sugar free. I have been exhausted going back to, well not going back to work, but we're hitting our busy season and I am working between 9 and a half and 13 hour days, Monday to Friday. I'm on call over the weekend. I'm doing at least one market a weekend as well. And I'm not sleeping the best at night. So I thought I would get these. They were half price. They were $9.25. And I just thought I might try them just as a bit of a pick-me-up. See if I can have one of these in the morning. I do like a Barocca as well. But I just wondered if these might have just given me a little bit extra. Um, just to help me get through the day. So we've got those. Uh, the Edgel Cream Corn. These were on special today. And I quite like the Cream Corn. Just... You can add it to a bit of soup or just to give things a little bit of flavour without having sort of the whole corn kernels in there as well. It makes a really good little addition. So there were 425 gram um, tins for $2.30 and it means that if I want to just open one, I'm not wasting it because like, I can just you know open one and use a little bit at a time. So we got those. Um, oh, Kale did. <laughs> we walked past the Easter things and being... Easter Saturday in a tourist destination, uh, there was, I think, one type of Easter eggs left in Woolies and they were pina colada or lime and something or they were, it was white chocolate with lime on it and they were the only Easter eggs on the shelf apart from some um, little tiny little share pack ones but they did have heaps of these marshmallows so Kale asked for some. So they were $3 so yes, he could have those but... Um, and they'll still be left when he gets back because hubby doesn't like marshmallows. So they will keep, but chocolate wouldn't. Chocolate would disappear. Um, this is for me, toasted fruit-free muesli. I usually get the one with fruit in it, but I wanted a toasted one today. And this toasted fruit-free, the Woolworths brand, was 
well, the only option apart from spending $15 for a packet. I just have a bit of a sprinkle of this on my chia pudding and yogurt that I take to work for breakfast. It was $3.10 for the 750 grams, which is really good value. And it's only to have a bit of a crunch and a bit of extra thing on, on the top of my chia pudding and yogurt. And that will last me a very long time. So I got that one. Um, the cubes, so these will be for Kale to eat before he goes and then uh, lunch on Monday. And if there's any left, I'll just take them to work as uh, my lunch as well. So they were $3.50. My, um, oh, I'll move down a bit so you can see the end of the table. There's not much more left, but just so you can see that. So, and my veggie chips were still on special. So while they're still $2.95 instead of $6, I will keep adding them to my trolley if I have eaten them. So, and I've been taking them to work and um, I'm pretty good. I can get two to three days out of a packet uh, if I take them to work. And they, yeah, like I said, $2.95 for those. They still are. Then we've got some extra little bits for kale. So we've got some sugar snap peas. These were on special today. 150 grams on special for $3. So I got those. And because the snow peas were on special as well, I got those for him as well. So they're 250 grams of so $5.50. But like I said, what he doesn't eat... I will have gladly for lunch or a snack at work. He wanted the raisin toast. We did have a discussion about it because I did wonder whether he would eat it before he went, although I know hubby likes this as well. He thinks he will, which is uh, $4.50. And the reason why I asked him is because we'd also already picked up a dozen hot cross buns. So these are the Woolies ones. They were actually frozen when we got there, so they're not completely fresh. Um, not sure why they were the frozen and not the freshly baked in store. Obviously, they'd run out of those. They were two for six dollars, so I got them. But I did go to our local bakery, one of our local bakeries, on the way home to get some bread for kale for his sandwiches, and they had hot cross buns too. So we ended up with a dozen of those too. So we're definitely going to look like a hot cross bun by the end of Easter. But I do my best, and uh, I think we had one pack of caramel ones this year but uh, we had no other hot cross buns throughout the year because I've refused to buy them uh, if it's not Easter so we kind of pick ourselves over Easter and then we don't want them again so uh, yeah we'll have hot cross buns probably for morning tea and breakfast and uh, whatever else in between so that's those and lastly some eggs they're just the Australian these are the Woolworths barn laid Australian extra large barn laid eggs 700 grams they were four dollars sixty i uh, just grabbed them as i was walking past so that's all i've got for today i'm sorry i've gone on a little bit we've had a little bit of explanation this week it's a little bit different a little bit unusual but i did spend a total of 237 dollars and 17 cents which seems crazy because it's not much here but we've got lots of those little things for kale to take away and they have all added up so and they'll be you know they're consumables but he'll probably have most of them when he gets back still sorry i've got the hiccups so um my total savings were forty dollars and fifty cents today i did get triple reward points so i earned just over two thousand points today which means i've added ten dollars to my christmas shopping i'm up to 130 dollars now uh, it just seems I seem to add to it every week. But, um, yeah, so that's what I've got for you today. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your Easter with your family. I'm going to edit this and try and get it up this afternoon so that it does go up at the usual time of 5 o'clock. So please enjoy that time with you. Have your family. Please stay safe if you are on the roads. It is absolutely bedlam out there. Um, we've already had an accident in town, a rollover just out of town, it always happens this time of the year with everyone traveling and coming to see us or locals leaving us and it's just so heartbreaking to see so please stay safe if you are on the roads enjoy the time with your family hug your special ones very close Easter is a time of the year that we can all spend some time with our family or those that you love and have a great week and until next time take care and I will see you in the next one bye